On today's stream, I watched even more of the scariest analog horror series that I can find. Marble Hornets. Now, I've already done two streams watching Marble Hornets before. This series is super long, so if you're not caught up yet, go check out the videos here so you can get caught up before you watch this. But if you're all up to date, this is just even more of that classic analog horror goodness. And this one is very, very cool. Some big story elements revealed here. So, if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. Every single stream I do watching Marble Hornets or any other analog horror series for that matter gets uploaded to this channel. So, for whatever reason, you have to miss them live. Sub to this channel, you never miss them. Yet. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. I'm gonna turn up the volume and we're gonna get straight in with uh, the next episode of Marble Hornets. Probably gonna turn off chat. Uh, I'll sit here actually. Pandora, thank you for the prime. Oh, yeah, Seven months, this. let's go. Thank, thank you, you for the best streams, King Manifold Pog. That's all good. Tell me if I, you need this turning up or whatever. I've not got my GoXLR here, so I can't really. I've begun to look through all the footage I took out of the safe back in the hotel. Oh, yeah, so right before he left the hotel, he managed to grab all these tapes from a safe that was in Jessica's room. No, sorry, that was in his room that he didn't have the pin to, but the, the pin was in Jessica's room. So he managed to grab all these fucking tapes out of his room before he runs. So he's looking through the footage from the safe. All the tapes seem to be roughly ordered, but a few are unlabeled. I started with the very first tape and I'm working my way through all of them all. I'm just, that makes sense. I'll be uploading any significant things I find. So this is back in the past. So originally it started in the past, it was just him uploading a log of weird things that he had found in the tapes. And then it kind of moved into the future as he started investigating things in real life and he started filming that and uploading it to the channel. Season, se series two had been purely uploaded in real time as far as we're aware, like he was in the hotel actively. This is now going back into the past for the first time in series two, season two, or whatever. All right, it is Wednesday. April 21st, 2010. Okay. So where... Right, okay, that's interesting. Because where does... I'm already having to just recap a little bit. Where does entry 27 start? Do we know the date? Oh, this was uploaded in real time, right? So this is November 2010. And this is uploaded in real time. So, this is, he's forgotten his memory over the last eight months, so this seems to be a log of the last eight months, because this is April, and in real time we're in November 2010. Um, it's 3.56pm. Also, sorry, I'm going to have to check something again. What was the date when Alex was found by the operator? Uh... So that was April 4th, 2010, two weeks ago. So we are now looking at what is essentially a direct continuation from series one. So this is just after Alex has had his run and running with the operator. This is Jay right as he begins to lose his memories. Right now I am on my way to the uh, return address here. Oh yeah, but he got emailed the footage of Alex getting caught out by the operator. He got a return address. That was on. I'm just filling people in. A package that was outside my door a couple of days ago. I've more or less been driving nonstop since I got the package and uh, watched the tape that was in it. And I think getting fairly close uh, to the address, the return address. Probably say about 15 or 20 minutes away. I have no idea what's going to be there when I get there. So, it's looking a little rainy. And I don't know why I'm still talking. Does he not film himself at all times now? Because, like, he films himself at all times by the end of season one. He, he, he ends up, like, Alex just filming himself 24-7. But it seems like he, he cut the, um... He cut the camera there. Ok, 
Okay, so completely abandoned house. Nothing here. I'm a little bit quiet, I didn't realise. Hold on, let me just... Turn that up a little bit. Just like there. That should be good. Let me know if I'm a little bit quiet, a little bit loud. Hannah, thank you for the prime. Have the alerts going, but I'll have them on mute for now, because if, if it, I'll read some donos later, but like if, if they speak, I'll get distracted. He's just been looking around. I haven't really been looking at the screen. He's just Why literally been him? looking like back and forth in this room for like fucking ages, right? So he walks in. Place is completely abandoned. I don't see anything weird. Bear in mind, the quality's low. It's 2010. Okay, here's a noise. I hope we get to see some marbles or hornets this episode. Do not get your hopes up, buddy. So far, I've not seen a single marble nor a hornet. I don't even know why the fucking thing was called marble hornets to begin with. Why is it so out of focus? Fuck me, man. What's written on the walls? It doesn't seem like there's anything of note here, but he's really filming everything. And I'm like panicking about like missing details because he's just filming fucking everything. Is that the Marble Hornets symbol? The fucking operator symbol, sorry? No. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me, Jesus Christ. Crank these down a touch. It was loud as fuck, Jesus. There's some footsteps down there, I swear. What are these funky camera angles, my guy? Come on now. Oh. Okay, nothing of note. This must have been where the return address on the package from entry 26 led me. It looks like I was unable to find anything inside the building on this particular day though. Which implies you went back? Surely I went back again to search more thoroughly. Oh, he doesn't even fucking know. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. To the Ark has been completely inactive the whole of season two, uh, starting on the new tapes, uh, because I to the arc didn't really always no no to the arc did respond to future stuff what but either way they haven't been and now to the arc is back with fragments. Hello again yeah reintro. Okay. Oh, that's Alex's face I think right. You are broken. That's it. That looked to be Alex's face, I would say. Are the comments turned off? They're not. Uh, theory explainer here. Let's see. Uh, these are usually all decrypted, like like messages to decrypt, but this one doesn't seem like much. I must admit, this, this feels significant because this rough, like the smile roughly makes a bit of a face, but the eyes are blacked out. Like, where the glasses are, black sections are placed. And I just think there's something symbolic about that. Anyway. Fragments. Uh, pictures of Alex, torn pieces, or fragments. You are broken. You cannot be fixed. The black flashes can be translated from Morse code to must die. However, the last section is in... Oh, really? I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think to check this for Morse code. God, I have to be... You have to be really diligent with the fucking... You have to be so diligent with the fucking... To the art videos. Didn't even notice the flashes. Must die. 
And that section is... Anyway, it sure seems like TTA has a problem with Alex. This video seems to be directed to him. He is broken and cannot be fixed. Why? Keep watching, you goofus. You'll figure it out. Yeah, so they definitely want Alex dead heavily because there's that really early one. Uh, which one is it? I don't know. Can I see it? Program. In which Alex... All we know is that Alex was attacked in 14. We know that Alex is attacked. Like, he's asleep. What appears to be the operator enters his room. And then gets up and closes the door, and he goes back to bed. 32 minutes pass, and then he's just bleeding. And then in this, it says, bleed more. And it also tells us that, and I, I need to read the message again, because it's really fucking uh, difficult. Yeah, this is how long it is. What does this mean? Uh, all of this is a reference to the previous entry. Alex woke up and the op entered his room. The tape ended. He put in a new tape which recorded something happening to him that caused him to bleed as if he, uh, he had a crown of thorns. He rewound the tape and recorded over that footage, removing what happened, leaving only the aftermath. Aftermath. It was like Alex removed what happened to him. We don't know why. And he, then he bleed more. So we know already whoever runs to the Ark fucking hates Alex. Which to me makes me think that they were someone who was on the cast of Marble Hornets. Because Alex became a real dickhead to the people on Marble Hornets. But equally, that was when he was suffering with the, the fucking operator sickness. As was people like Tim, uh, who he believed to be masky. Um, and he was a bit of a dickhead as well. So it, I, I, I wouldn't say he runs to the Ark because at first I thought he did. But then... Um, they make a thing, I think it's a tension. No, it's a different one. It's not a mission either. I forget which one it is. Message. Smile, this is just after we've been introduced to the ma uh, to Maskey and it's like, tell us, uh, what, uh, you have been keeping secrets. Smile for the camera and then Tim's face pops up, implying that it's talking to Maskey. So we don't think this is, the, to the art channels ran by Maskey either. Is this a true story? Absolutely. Slenderman is real. Run, hide, write scary notes and leave them in the woods. Because it's real. It's freaking real. I'm joking. Anyway, entry to it, 35. Okay, is this back to the abandoned house? Yes, it is. He did go back. All right, Jay. Uh, I don't like the fact that there was absolutely nothing. It was just entry 35. Usually there's a little bit of like vortex. Foreskin. Sorry, I don't know why. Okay, this is a bit better lit. That's nice. Makes it less scary. I'm not scared of it anymore because it's in the Hello. light. You can't have evilness. The, the lights make everything safe. Uh, don't question mark me. I'm sorry. He's broken. He can't be fixed. He must die. That's me. Because I can't help but say like... There's nothing here. What are you wanting me to see? I'm not seeing anything. I assume he was sent the tape by To The Ark. Because To The Ark seems to be guiding him to the answers. As much as I can't tell if they're like... His ops. I can't tell if they're trying to kill him. In the long run, at least, they're definitely trying to lead him in the right direction. Because, um, um, yeah, I can't really go into the details yeah. of it, but. What the fuck? What the fuck? I knew it was Tim. Librain! Librain! Yes! Fucking knew it! I mean, also, when Maskey first ran on screen, everyone kept saying Tim, but I still, the clues pointed that way. 
The clues pointed that way. Jay Schlatt. Holy shit, Jay Schlatt's evil. The fuck is Tammy? was one of the cast of Marvel Hornets. <laughs> Give me the knife! But also, he's he's got fucking operator sickness, definitely, because he distorts cameras and shit, and he has the cough. No, I'm not giving you the knife. Turn off the camera. What? No, hey, hey, hey. He's not going to What are you doing? Ah! Did he fucking kill him? I find something like this on the tapes. It changes everything. I don't know what happened after the encounter with Tim. The footage goes straight to me driving. Live leak moment. Yeah, that is. So, but as we uh, then, uh, but we know for a fact now that to the arc isn't Tim. Like all, already pretty obvious. It addresses Maskey quite directly, but it it can't be because he's fucking dead. We assume. Well, we saw Maskey in the hotel. Oh fuck! Wait, we did. Wait, you're right. We saw Maskey in Entry Thirty Three, right? So Tim isn't dead. He can't be. So Alex didn't kill him. He isn't dead. Look at where Alex struck him. Wait, hold on. Let's go back. What? No, hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? What? No, hey, hey, hey. Getting you to die. Turn off the camera. What? No, hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Broke his leg, but. But he can run pretty well in this. I mean, it's been eight months, you, you do heal. I'm curious if there's any noticeable sign of, like, him hobbling or anything, you know? Not particularly. Doesn't appear like there is. I mean, we'll carry on watching. We've got, we got the next to the arc video to watch. <laughs> that sound like it's a gamers to me. Right, uh, are you drowning? Oh yeah, to the arc that uses a bunch of like flooding, flooding allegory. I wonder if like drowning is something to do with operator sickness. That's how I'm seeing it so far. Cause uh, they say you will show me to the arc at one point, right? In this one, I think. As you know, which one do they actually directly reference the arc? Is it a mission? There are doors unopened. That looks... I'm confused. I'm confused. You will lead me to the Ark. I don't quite understand what that means yet. But this... Uh, is this Tim? Is Tim to the Ark? Because he's mimicking Alex's video that he made. I just want to watch this again. Because Alex initially owns the mask. Smile for the cameras said again. Smile for the cameras something he said in messages.
guards and that's the stigmata again. I'm, I'm trying to unpiece this, right? So the stigmata usually implies victims of the operator is what I've gathered so far. That's what I'm gathering at least. Um, and I think this is like to do with the, the operator sickness spreading, I think. The smile for the camera line. This is what I'm, I'm currently, this is what my brain's currently doing. In the in messages, which is uh, did I open it? No, I didn't. In messages, this is seems to be speaking directly to Tim, right? Because that's Tim's face, and he's masky. We we know that for a fact now. Absolutely. You've been keeping secrets. Tell us. Smile for the camera. In Alex's video that he supposedly made, that to the arc then uh, posts. It ends with smile, oh, not ends, but it has smile for the camera. And in the past, words that other people have, it's like to the arc likes mimicking Alex is what I've found. But it usually does it directly to him, if that makes sense. This is what I'm trying to wrap my head around here. Like, usually, it's confusing. I'm not gonna sit here and try. I'm gonna sit here forever. I don't know. It just it it feels more significant, and I don't quite get it yet. Broadcast. Let's let's read the comments for this because of that. This is um. This is like. This is. Too. It's too distorted for me to fix. I've tried doing it. Broadcast. Okay. Here. Let's see. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh read major spoilers. Okay. Let's not read that. Theory time once again. Broadcast, transmit, a program or some information by radio or television. Scatter seeds, uh, what's, what's it? It's just called broadcast. Okay. Uh, transmit, a program or some information by, uh, scatter seeds by hand or machine. Okay. The Gobble Voice is saying, enjoy watching you, enjoy watching you suffer. Do you know me? I will always know you. The figure we see is one that is not yet introduced, but we will soon, I will. <laughs> This feels like spoiler territory then, I don't like that. Um. Uh, oh, Hoodie, this video is very unique because it seems to give us an indication that a new challenger approaches. Alright, Smash Bros. This figure, okay. Uh, I'm just reading it. This message seems to be directed at Maskey slash Tim. After all, who do we just see suffer more than the guy who got his leg broken with a chunk of concrete? Well, will you know me? Hmm. I'm a little bit confused. I'm trying to piece this one together, but I don't quite get it yet. This seems to be one that I won't quite get yet. You know what I mean? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I would say Masky Hoodie is the one running to the Ark. And they don't like Masky just as much as anyone else, because they seem to be taunting him. So they're not on the same team, but they both definitely are affected by the operator. I want to try and get my head around this. Entry 36. Uh, I, I feel like we won't be able to piece it all together until we've watched the whole series, to be honest. It feels like one of those things. But I definitely want to try and wrap my head around it the best I can. Also, awesome lover. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Okay. So looking through the... T is there no sound? or Okay, there's just actually no sound. That's fine. 35. I didn't know what happened after finding Alex at the abandoned house. Now I noticed that the tape itself had time left, time left on it, but wouldn't continue to play past this point. Oh, interesting. But then, after trying for a few days, I was able to find some corrupt footage at the end of the tape. I've subtitled what I think is being said as best I can. This is corrupted as fuck. Well. Already explored, I think you're wrong. 
God, yeah, this is distorted as fuck. I'm just gonna predict epilepsy warning on this. I'm not sure, but I'm I'm predicting it. Why did you do that? What were you thinking? Yeah, I did what I had to. Just me. You broke his leg with a block of cement. I could have done worse, and I probably should. Okay, so he does break his leg. I guess we should. Uh, Sometimes I, I I should watch these before I, I, I read the comments. But I kind of want to piece every video into place before, like, I, as I watch all this. What hotel you were at, what room you were at, and then get a package delivered to your door. You're not exactly on your To your door. Oh, wait, Alex. Alex worked out where you were at. What room you were at, and then get a package delivered to your door. So Alex did that? So what do you want me to do between now and whenever you decide to call me then? Wait, so... So Alex... So Alex was the one who sent... You know sometimes I think is Alex to the Ark, man. It's just sometimes. Or like some alternate split personality of Alex's, you know what I mean? Because obviously To The Heart Arc hates Alex, but I'm, I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Great, cool. I'm great at doing that, Alex. Alex must have been the one that sent the package to my hotel room. Okay, yeah, that, okay, that confirms that. I, I got the impression, but I wanted to make sure. Why he did this is unclear, but I'm hoping one of the tapes I have includes him explaining it to me. Yeah, it seems like Alex is more in control than I thought. Because Alex gave Jay all the tapes, but... What I want to know is, like... Sorry, there was movement around the house, and I panicked and then remembered I'm I'm not the only one in this house, and that would be why. But there was like a brief moment where I forgot I wasn't alone, and the movement freaked to the fuck out of me. Anyway, um... Because initially, right, like, Jay just ends up with Alex's footage and he's disappeared. So I just figured Alex was, like, running away, you know? Because, like, we know he's alive at the end of season one. I thought he was just running away. So to know that he's actively sought Jay out... It's interesting because how does he know Jay did anything with the tapes? How did he know he started researching? How did he know he had run-ins with the operator and so on and so forth? Unless he isn't involved in some greater way, I guess. I don't know. It just it implies that Alex is still involved with the operator or researching it or something. He know he knows about the channel. You know what I mean? He knows something. He knows something. Because like yeah, Alex has been watching the YouTube channel. I I forget that the universe is like. The YouTube channel actually exists. I forget that it's like a fourth wall thing. So yeah, I guess he could have been watching the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is actually like real in, within the world of the series. The YouTube does exist in the universe. So yeah, he could just be watching it. Oh, this is... Again, okay, epilepsy warning. Apologies. Fucking hell. Uh, that's just... That's just dialing the operator, right? Nice. Watch this again. Apologies. Why is it in such a weird aspect ratio? Oh, those flashed up way too fucking quick. That was numbers. So that was Alex's voicemail. What does it say? So I'm going to go back. So that's, that's operator, so, so that's, a, that's a telephone pad. I didn't even fucking see what that said. I'm going to have to slow this down a bit. What did that say? Shit. Rhyme? Rhyme? Does that say? R-I-N-E? But there's a stigmata there. 
Another stigmata. More of that. I still don't quite... Oh, ring. I'm a fucking idiot. Of course it says ring. Fucking stupid. <laughs> it's ring. It's, it's ring backwards. Of course it is. Fucking hell. I'm such a moron. Um, but yeah, that's another stigmata there. Which, again, I'm not quite sure what that imagery means yet, but I just think it implies victims. People who have, in some way, had run-ins with the operator. Because this one seems to be addressing Alex, because it's his inbox. He is either predicting or saying he has had a run-in with the operator. It's also said that about Alex, and it's also said it about... Uh... Oh, who the fuck did it say it about? Maybe Tim? Because I'm still not sure whether that video, uh, that video of, of Maskey that says, like, uh, the one, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, entry, uh, no. Warning, I think. Warning, I believe. I think warning's the one I'm thinking about, but I'll double check. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um, I don't know, the stigmata seems to seems to imply something. Again, no spoilers in chat. I'll try and piece this together myself. I'm just really intrigued. Okay, so that, and then... Let's see what... He's trying to figure out what's going off here. I can't piece any of that together. This is just flashing lights and colours. Oh, no, this is like when everyone's had run-ins with the operator, right? So that's down that alleyway where Alex ran into him, I believe. In... That's... That's this. I recognise that frame. That's the... 22 months. Almost two years. Wow. I think from that. I think. Who's in this? No. Never mind. No, it's a different scene. I thought, it was, I thought that was the same thing. It's not. Looks like a tunnel. There's a guy walking in front of a light. No, I know that. But I'm just trying to see if it's anything to be recognised. Because that looks like... You, uh, who died? The camera guy died. The camera guy died to the operator. Or is gone. I don't know. Alex is never clear about whether they died or not. Oh yeah, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers. I know he changed all the numbers. Okay, it right, starts here. Twelve. Good. Um. So chat, remember these. Twelve, nine, five. I probably should be a bit more diligent scanning for the numbers because nineteen was kind of hard to see. So it's twelve, nine, five. Is there nothing before? I'm not sure okay. 12. It got it. Yo, Aria, they give the raid a two. Aria, hello. Welcome. 12, 9, 5, 19. I'll explain what we're doing in a second. Hold on. Twelve, nine, five, nineteen. That's it. It's literally all the numbers. Welcome everyone. Sorry, I um I, I got distracted. We're watching Marble Hornets. It's the first ever, as far as I know, analog YouTube uh, YouTube analog horror series, and by far the scariest one I've watched. It it's unmatched in recent years, and it's really good. So it, it it's no manifold Wagwan Mydrilla. Please never ever speak to me in, like that ever again. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's 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 fucking amazing, and we're just trying to piece together uh, some of the. Th th there's a lot of like ARG type stuff in it, and we're trying to piece it together now. Uh, but I can't say that made much sense to me. Let's see, Let's see what this guy has to say. Okay. Ah, explanation theory. Saito, an audible feedback to someone speaking... Oh, okay, yeah, that's just the, the thing. Uh, notice the zero button saying Oppa, short for Operator, which is the name of the faceless being stalking the characters, not Slender Man. It basically is Slenderman, man. Ring backwards, then a noise. It sounds like three quick beeps that could be Morse code for the letter O. 
uh, again, operator over seeing. Numbers, alphanum um, numbers alphanumerically decode to lies. Night vision footage of someone standing in a tunnel with lights in the distance. Sometimes looks like eyes. So it's a quick shot of a silhouette in the tunnel we've seen in an earlier video. The one where Jay found a rock with blood on it. Oh, that one. Interesting. Audio is a dial tempo about Alex's voicemail. Um, oh, Alex. No, this is Alex, not Jay. I got confused. Uh, you reached the voicemail of Alex Crayley. I'm not answering the phone right now. Please your name, number, and I'll get my two cents. Can then a busy signal. Description is a phone number made entirely of zeros, likely a reference to the operator who is associated with zeros. Footage is vague, but I think it's close of a car seat. POV, you're the phone. Alex isn't answering. In entry 36, Alex tells Jay to lay alone that we're calling. To the arc is telling Jay that Alex is not going to call him back. Alex is lying. Which sounds roughly accurate. That does sound like a good theory, I would say. that I would say that does feel like something this could be meaning. Okay, so entry 36 is confirmed. Right, okay. This is interesting. Entry spelt wrong 37. Oh, yeah, because we know that To The Ark has access to the Marble Hornets channel. We know that. To the arc gets access to the mar uh, the marble channel. Right at the end, right at the end of season one. Because Alex is like, I'm gonna give up searching. Oh, brain, brain. My, I, I, I do think Alex might be to the arc. You know, sometimes because right, or at least involved. Because hear me out, Jay is researching Marble Hornets after being given the footage by Alex. The whole time he's researching and To The Ark is guiding him in the right direction, but he is choosing to go and look for things. And then right at the end of season one, he's like, this is ruining my life. I'm having to relocate all the time. I'm not safe. I'm in danger. I'm going to stop this project. I will not be uploading on this channel ever again. That's what he says. That is shortly followed. Or, or I think it's, it's either this one or this one where he says that. And then all of a sudden, Ma uh, to, the, to the Ark has been guiding him all along, logs into his channel, makes this video, saying we will wait for you no more. And now, this implies to me that whatever To The Ark was trying to gain from whatever to, leading him To The Ark is, is what To The Ark has been trying to gain by leading Jay in the right direction to uncover more and more about the Operator and Alex and Marble Hornets and so on and so forth. And um, all of a sudden, when Jay says he wants to stop, immediately he gets a package from Alex, giving him footage showing that he's alive and the Operator's still on his tail. This spurs Jay into action and he goes after him. Then, Alex meets him, confesses to them, and says he's going to call him, for whatever reason. But what I'm saying is, Alex purposefully got Jay back into uploading on the Marble Hornets channel and looking further into the operator. Which implies to me that when they say control is being taken away from you, either at a higher level, either to the arc isn't Alex but is controlling him in some form, but Alex is being used to control Jay into doing what to the arc wants. That's, that's what I, that's what makes sense to me. Because Alex is weird. Alex is weird. And also this to me always looked like Alex. It doesn't look like Tim in the mask. Oh, um, kind of does actually. But that would imply that Tim is working because Tim, because Masky has been, oh, it's weird. Oh, it's so fucking weird. I'm trying to work out Maskey's involvement with To The Ark quite. Because I don't get the impression that they like him. Yeah, the whole I enjoy watching you suffer thing. Will you remember me from what we're going to be known as Hoodie? I just don't quite get it yet. 
I just wouldn't be shocked if Alex is involved in some capacity with To The Ark. Despite the fact that it hates him and it says bleed more and all this, I'm curious whether it's a self-loathing thing. Like the old Alex, the Alex that wasn't under the control of the operator, bleed more. You know, the Alex that was filming himself and hadn't accepted the operator's control yet. That's what I'm maybe thinking. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not far enough into the series to know. I'm just confused. Anyway, the fact that this is spelt wrong implies to, I reckon maybe the, uh, to the arc uploaded this and not Alex. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry. Just, uh, grins in. I know everything about this. Yeah, there's going to be people who know whether I'm right or wrong. Please don't tell me. I just, I'm intrigued. I'm loving this theory. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm enjoying this. I'm just intrigued. All right. Entry tw 37. So this is 1991, April 4th. April 4th, by the way, I believe is the day that the operator got a hold of Alex. That's or something. Else. It is. Fucking hell, that's red velvet. That is so uncanny. That is uncanny to look at. Sorry. Um, find it interesting, the fours. Find the fours interesting. Four, 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 four. Just odd. And then it's April 4th, 1991 that this is from as well. At 4.41. A similar time. Not quite the same, but a similar time. Years later to the day where the operator caught up with Alex in the tape that he sent to Jay. Just, just intriguing. Also the fact that this has some distortion is interesting. Because that looks to be Jay as a kid to me. Ooh. That also would imply that maybe it's Jay. To you, happy birthday to you. Man has the deepest happy voice on earth. His dad is Thor. Never mind, it's Alex. Okay. Alex. Happy Okay, so this has this always been six oh three? Okay, it has. Just... Happy birthday to you. And then it 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 fast forwards. The operator shows up, and we know the operator can distort time. We were aware of that because he distorts, because he did it to to fucking Jay when he was in the house the first time. It skips forward. Okay, so it skipped forward in time then. All at once. Very nice, Alex. So there's just a moment there. It goes forward in time. The operator shows up, it skips forward in time, and it goes straight back. Does the year change at any point? I want to look at the frames. Yeah, the time just changes significantly. Oh, but that is the clip of Alex. That's not a different clip. And the time on the camera changes a bunch. And changes straight back. But all this implies to me is that Alex has had some involvement with the operator for fucking time. <laughs> Memories. Okay, weird. Unlabeled. But it's weird. At J. J hasn't yet acknowledged this weird entry that he didn't label like all the others, that he spelt wrong. I don't know. I just don't get the feeling that J uploaded that.
It looks like the same movement in the video with a wooden doll. Oh, wait, you are right. That is... <laughs> it is the fucking weird head bob that is with the, the video with the wooden doll. Huh. Again. No, no, just something about Alex, man. I want to study the times now. Yeah, I haven't done it yet, but the times might have some significance. I found the following footage from one of the unlabeled tapes I have. I already a bit of distortion. Sometimes, though, when there's distortion around Alex, part of me begins to think that maybe he causes the distortion. But he definitely hasn't always been under the operator's control. We know that for a fact. He's been trying to avoid it. So it wouldn't make sense. I don't know. Something weird, man. Try to work out, Alex. I skipped it back, back in my mouth. But already a little bit of like tearing. Look at his jacket. Yeah, it looks like the fucking Jack Manifold Minecraft skin jacket. It's literally my Minecraft skin. I saw a plush of Alex Crayley earlier that looks a scary amount like my Minecraft skin. It's very weird. It's very weird. It's my fucking Minecraft character, Alex Crayley. Was this, was this one dated as well? Oh, no, this is an unlabeled tape, so we have no idea. What the fuck is that? There's a fucking human. God, you can't make out that fucking person at all. Someone's walking behind them, though, by the looks of things. Is that the motherfucker from the woods in the first video that he taps on the shoulder? Because he thinks he's being followed around the hotel? That looks like the same motherfucker. It's getting dark, Alex. Also, I have no idea where we are. We're almost there. Do you want me to take the camera? Yeah. Oh, okay, no, so that was Jay. Never mind, that was just so Jay. So where is there? The jeans are the same. Are they the flared jeans? Do you know about this area? Nothing. How much do you know? So where is there? Okay. How much do you know about this area? Sorry, I missed a bit of dialogue. Nothing. When I first moved here, I remember hearing a story that back in the 1800s they thought this place was blessed because everything would grow so fast. They would take their worst criminals, murderers and child molesters, and Jesus they would Christ. put them on trial before God out here. Oh, interesting. They would tie them up to the trees, and the idea was that they would get stretched out, kind of like a rack. They never fed or gave them water, though, so they would just die of dehydration. Why are you telling me this? They never cut down the bodies. They would just burn the whole tree with them still on it. They stopped doing it though after a kid went missing. And he finally turned up in the area where they would do the trials. This seemed a bit distorted though, would you then? He had been dismembered and strung up. Okay, sounds like some operator bullshit if, he's, if he is Slenderman. So is this why we're out here to uh, look at trees and tell spooky ghost stories? Come here. What? Alex is fucking scary sometimes, man. He's weird here. as fuck. This is definitely later on. This is like. Wait, he, hold on a second. He was much friendlier uh, at the start of Marble Hornets. Uh, this is the there's only about a minute left on this tape. I'm gonna change it real quick. Since this tape was unlabeled, I don't know where it fits in with the seven months that I don't remember. Who knows if it's even in the seven months? I'm gonna assume so. Whether Alex is acting in it makes me very uneasy. Why was he telling me all of that? He, it's definitely post Marble Hornets. He's creepy as fuck. And what happened to him? Alyssa, thank you for the prime, by the way. I feel like I'm getting closer, but not fast enough. Oh, there's more. More of this. As for ent ent 37 Oh, he's acknowledging it. I did not post it. I don't know where this footage came from. It is fucking to the arc. 
Again, involved, they have... Someone must have hijacked my account. Have you ever uploaded entry? Da, 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 da. What gets me right is... Okay, so now to the arc, we know... Doesn't just know Alex well, as in like they were on Marble Hornets or something. Because they have copies of all of his footage. They also have videos of him as a kid. Which again, why have I never suspected the fact that they have all of his fucking footage? That's weird, right? Like that, that, the, the fact that they have some of Alex's footage... I'm still weird about Alex and his involvement with To The Ark. The more and more I like watch, I'm getting creeped out by him. Anyway, Alyssa, you were the last person to Brian and you're gonna thank yourself because guys, it is the top of the hour. You know what that means. I'm about to run a one minute ad break during which I'm gonna thank some subs, just do some chatting and stuff like that. You're not gonna miss any of the Marble Hornets content. If you would like to stick around and watch it, I would really, really appreciate it. Please do not leave. It is only a minute of your time, and there's going to be plenty more content afterwards. Uh, you won't even notice. Literally, just scroll on your phone for a minute. Go take a drink. I don't know. A minute is such a short amount of time. But if for whatever reason you really cannot be bothered to watch an ad, $4.99 will mean you can miss all the ads on every stream for the rest of the month. And if you click subscribe right now and you see that you have the Prime option, use it. You don't get to watch any ad. Or you don't have to watch any ads. And it's completely free. You lose nothing. It helps me out a bunch. Holding on to it is just evil, because at the end of the day, what are you going to do with it otherwise? So, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I'm giving you the opportunity now to subscribe beforehand if you would like to. However, I am going to run the ad in three. Actually, I'm going to take a drink and then I'm going to run the ad. So, you've got only a few seconds. Westerberg and Cata Ca Chaotically Pan. Maybe the two months. Anyway. You're all right. Thank you for the prime as well. Okay. Right. Guys. It's time. I'm gonna run the ads. In the meantime, I'll stick on some creepy music. And no, I won't stick on the creepy. We, we don't have to stick on creepy videos. Anyway. Guys, the ads are running. Subs, how are you feeling? Thank you for all the subs that came through on this stream, by the way. Just to thank some people who haven't thanked already. Bonology, thank you for the 22 months. Hex, uh, hey, hey, I don't know how to say your name, I'm ever sorry, but thank you for the Prime. Uh, Real, Real Lucas Live, thank you for the Raid. Borody Explorer, thank you for the Prime. Autumn Lover, thank you for the Prime. Apollo the God Live, thank you for the Raid. Gem, thank you for the 17 months, holy shit, thank you so much. Hannah Roberts, thank you for the uh, 7 months. Meraki Streams, thank you for the Raid. Mint Moshi, thank you for the gifted sub. Fentic, thank you for the tier 1. 20, for 20 months, months. months! Not long till 2 years. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Thank you for almost 2 years of subbing. That's wild. That is so wild that I've been doing this for two years now, nearly. Nearly two years. Well, actually, technically, I've been streaming nearly three. Next month, it'll be three years. It'll be... Or maybe already. I don't know whether I started early December or late November. But it, I would have... I started in either early... Late November or early December of 2019. Meaning that, um... I would have been streaming for nearly three years. My three-year anniversary is coming up soon. And I've been doing streaming full-time for, um... Coming up on two years now. Is that right? No, it can't be, right? No, it is. No, no, it can't be. It can't be. It can't be. How long have I been... I've been streaming for four years? I can't wrap my head around it. Wait. Is your mustache growing? You know what? It's funny you acknowledge that. I wasn't going to speak about this, but since you mentioned it, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to bring it up. Hold on, let me, let me focus the camera. Guys, because it's Movember, I promise not to shave my mustache hairs. Now, I do not have many hairs on my face, as you can see. So this is a month's worth of mustache growth. Hardly anything. I'm very embarrassed. That's basically all I wanted to say. But the fact that someone pointed it out means it is slightly visible, apparently. Oh, I went the wrong way. But yeah, apparently it obviously is slightly visible because, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've done an ever so slight amount of mustache growth. The, 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 the slightest amount ever. But uh, I, 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 what I might do is just stick with it beyond November. Make it mo fucking 2023 and just see how long, just how long it takes before I have something worthwhile of calling it a mustache. You know? Also, welcome back, ad viewers. I appreciate you doing it. Sorry, we're just talking about my fucking mustache. I had to zoom in to see anything. Yeah, it's it's dire. I know it is. I know it is. Anyway. Anyway. Guys, I, I realized we didn't actually finish the last entry in complete fullness. So we're just going to switch back over to it and pick up from there. I'm going to review, guys.
I've changed my password again, but I'm not going to delete the video. Interesting. Anyway. I was right. It was uploaded by To The Ark. No To The Ark video for Entry 38, by the way. It's almost as if... Actually, no. It's almost as if nothing. Let's watch Entry 39. Another one with Alex. Alex's involvement's really interesting to me. About a week after finding Alex in the abandoned house. You would assume that uh, when he says he doesn't know where it fits into the seven months, you'd assume it's incredibly early on, if not beforehand, because if the To The Ark video is right, where it's like, Alex is not going to call your ass, then he never got the call. Uh, assuming that that is the case, that means the last time he saw Alex was when he broke Maskey's leg, and that wasn't long after he went to the house the first time, you would imagine. Meaning it'd have to be in between that. I, but when he showed up, he was he didn't go, Alex, as if he'd never seen him before. So you assume he's been meeting with Alex prior to him breaking Maskey's leg. So I'd say it fits somewhere in between that. If it wasn't in the seven months, he'd remember it. Oh, true. He remembers things before all, doesn't he? Okay, yeah, it has to be in the seven months. True. True, true, true. Oh. Never mind. Does he get the call? Is that Alex? Alex. Meet me at Rosswood Park tomorrow. What? Oh, so he does get a call. Huh. So maybe it doesn't imply that. Unless he's waiting on a new call? Unless this is a different call. Why haven't you called? It's been over a week. No, 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 no. This, this is the call. This is the call. This is the call in between Maskey. So now we don't... Fuck, now I don't know where it fits in the timeline anymore. So shit, so To The Ark was wrong about him not calling. Oh, what? At Rosswood no, Park. No, I, I heard you, just, where have you been? Alex. Right, hang up on me. Weird. You heard your voicemail of Alex Crayley? I'm not answering my phone right now. Okay, never mind. It doesn't imply that he's not going to call him. That comment was just wrong. I thought it was a pretty good theory, but I think they're wrong. They've been pretty good so far, though. But also... That's the voice... Hmm. We also never figured out what the numbers meant in that video either. Yeah, weird. Damn, he just stayed out. Wait, is he at the park? Just go in bed. Bedtime. Oh, bedtime. Something scary is gonna happen in that window. Oh, no. Roughly 40 minutes pass on this tape. Is that the operator? No, it isn't. Who the fuck is it? Or is it? I... What? No, if it was the operator, the camera would be distorted. The audio would cut or something. 
Who the fuck was that? From what I can tell, this was the only appearance the person made that night. What the fuck? Forecast. Alright, this is another weird... This is like broadcast. Okay. That appears to be like a password or something. More numbers, more numbers, more numbers. Two... 26. Uh, let's watch the video first, now I'll do the numbers. I'm trying to work out what that is. Ooh. Here is something I wanted to show you. This is a lot. Oh, so whoever to the arc is was that person. Okay. That looks like a set of lungs. You know when like in science class they'll like take fucking lungs and inflate them with a tube? So that looks like let's see what the comment man thinks. Um, all that is at the beginning of multiples of two, so if you divide them by two, you get one into letters. Am I a prophet? Okay, this is all the information in this video. Description is base 64, see you, saw you. Uh, fair enough, it's just more creepy. All the letters at the beginning, multiples of two, divide them, you get that, translate that again into letters based on order of the alphabet, and you get, am I a prophet? Uh, the footage. Okay. So, more biblical type talk. Why is it called forecast, though? Forecast is a weird, is a weird title for that one. All the others kind of generally link back to what they are, like side tones, ringtone thing, fragments was frag... Forecast is a weird, but everything's always linked to weather, or TV broadcast, or maths apparently. Apart from like maybe memories, that doesn't really seem like this thing to here. Interesting though. It, lungs are beating heart. Hearts are quicker than that. That could be a heart. Maybe whatever this thing is right there. I don't know. It's weird though. Let's just watch forty. That description, the description was base 64, it was just see you, saw you. The day after Alex called. Okay. Rosswood Park. Hmm. <sighs> This must have been so cool to film and write. I wish, I'd love to be involved in a project like this one day. And still, maybe I will. I, do, I, I keep saying I want to make an analog horror series and I, I just might. So you have a hole in your pants? He did, he has a hole. Well, hold on. Oh, he does. What a shame, God. More theories, more theories. What could the hole mean? What does the hole imply? The operator? It's a zero. Zeros have holes. His pants have holes. He has operator sickness. He's dying. He's going to become one of them. Stabbed in the ass. Alex, um... You didn't actually tell me what time you're gonna meet me here, so uh, I'm here. Whenever you decide to come. Is that him now? There's a car driving around.
That looks like it might be the fucking to the art character again. Very interested to figure out who they are. It feels like answers might come soon. But then what would be the point in season three? You know what I mean? So maybe not. Oh, okay. So the operator or Maskey, as far as I know, are the only two people that can do that so far, right? Or, or Tim. Sorry, I'll stop calling him Tim. So the operator does that, and Tim also causes distortion when he's around. Deep breaths, deep breaths. What's he doing? Vaping? What's he doing? Let's take a hit of his elf bar. Oh, he's, he's calling. Okay. Alex. Um, I'm in the woods right now, near where I parked, so if you're, uh, if you're here, you're wondering where I am, uh, I'm in here. I'll probably be back out there in about 15 or 20 minutes, I'm not exactly sure where I am, so. I'll be out there in just a minute. Marble Hornets, let's go. You know what you're doing when you do these fucking donations, man. Thank you for the 10. Fucking hell. I forget I have those turned on every time. That was scary. Oh, trust me, it fucked me up too. Wait, what, what is that? I want to look at that more closely. It's weird. Like a little, like, fucking throne thing built into the tree. It's just odd. So someone's kicking around still. We haven't seen the operator fucking all season. Oh! Nice reveal! He ditched the camera? That's a first? ditched the camera. But again, but the operator seems to stick to Alex, is what I've noticed. Did Jay ever have a run-in with the operator? Oh wait, he did, right? In, uh... Ench... Oh, in season one, sorry. In, was it Entry 19 where he did? Uh, 
what was return again? I just want to try and get my head around this. Return maybe is the one I'm thinking about. Oh, apologies for flashing lights. Oh yeah, that's that's Jay with the op so Jay has had run-ins with the operator when with with, with Tim around. Okay, anyway, interesting. interesting. This is base 64 as well. Uh, Alright, let me do a little bit of. Uh... Yo, yeah, thank you for the. Uh, just an interest, thank you. Life, less than oh, thank you so much. Appreciate the four months. Uh, base 64 translator. Uh, decode. Yeah, it is. Okay, it says behind the curtain. It says behind the curtain, the description. Let's continue. That looks like, did you see me? I saw you. Okay, weird. Okay, hello. Oh. Uh, intermission, an interval between parts of a play. Okay, cool. A pause or a break, which means that maybe the, this will be a direct continuation uh, after this will be a direct continuation in 41, which makes sense. Um, figure near the tree, maybe hoodie. Okay, I don't know. It seems that you can see him near a tree in the beginning of the previous entry. Lines up with the message, did you see me? I saw you. If you break the numbers up like this, it translates to always there, alpha numeric. Behind the curtain. Behind the curtain. The man behind the curtain is usually the person controlling something behind the scenes. An allusion to the, uh, allusion to the Wizard of Oz. Perhaps TTA or the operator. Or Hoodie simply showing Jay the behind the scenes of the last video. He was there, just watching. And Twin Peaks, a show that inspires a lot of stories, including this one. Curtain symbolizes entering the white or black lodges, uh, which are sort of alternate dimensions where the supernatural stuff comes from. In this video is that Hoodie was watching Jay in the previous entry and made this video to let him know. It could be a taunt or it could be a reassurance, given what we learnt. No, I don't. Fuck off, man! I don't like that he adds little spoilers and then, like, he has a spoilers section. Don't put the spoilers in the not spoilers section. I want to understand. Piss me off. Maybe the operator runs to the Ark? No, I don't get the, the idea he's like a, like a being like that. God's sake, that, that, that's annoyed me. That's pissed me off. I'm freaking pissed. I'm pissed off. Spoilers in the non-spoiler section. Makes me so mad. It's apparently you can see Hoodie by a tree. Oh, there. That does appear to be a little figure leaning against the tree, doesn't it? And it's roughly reminiscent of this. Roughly. I do get the impression that Hoodie might run to the Ark. I do get the impression that Hoodie runs to the Ark. And they do seem to be somewhat on Jay's side. But then Alex seems to be under their control to some degree. It's interesting. They, they, but they seem to be anti-Alex because they seem to be trying to warn him about Alex. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. I don't get it. Face cam was in the way. Oh, of course. Wait, I'll show you again. Um, let me shift myself here. Here. That looks like a little man leaning against a tree, doesn't it? That's how I'd see that. That's how I'd see that. Anyway. Touch 41. Oh, it's a longer one. There's about 15 minutes of nothing on the tape from entry 40 before the picture comes back. So this, that was the intermission. Quite literally. Sorry, I've got an itchy eye. Everyone always laughs at the way I itch my eyes and I'm not, I'm not gonna have it anymore. 
Okay, who's coming to get the camera? It's obviously not the operator. The operator's long gone. A scratchy lip. Yeah, I get the impression that the Ark is on Jay's side to some degree. And even though they've removed control from him... Well, I don't know if they're on his side, but like... They're trying to guide him in the right direction. Ultimately because he's going to lead them to the Ark. But Alex... But it seems to not like Alex. It's as if it, so is it trying to warn him about Alex? Because it shows him the weird tie-ins between Alex and the operator, like in that video where Alex is doing the weird head shake and stuff. But then it owns all his footage, and when it says it's removing his control... But does Alex... Oh, but oh, but the YouTube channels exist... Right, okay, new theory, new theory. The YouTube channels exist. They are part of the universe. Therefore, could Alex not be watching the To The Art channel and being aware of it and trying to foil its plans? So when it goes, we're taking control away from Jay, Alex goes, Shit, I need to do something. I don't know. I don't know. TTA doesn't like Alex, but I'm still not sure whether it's not like Alex in some capacity. Like it's like a self -lo self loathing thing. I'm just intrigued. And this one's given me a lot of questions. Like I felt like the start of series two was so easy to follow, and it's gotten really deep really quick. Who's came and picked up the camera? What was that over there? No, go back, go back, go back, go back, whoa, 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 What's this? What are you? Let's try and work out if that's like something. Is that a toilet? It looks to be a toilet, doesn't it? It hurts you, thank you for the prime. Oh, you're walking that way, okay. I don't think it's anything then. Okay, distortion. But very light distortion. I get the impression Hoodie's picked up the camera. And the reason I think that is because he started immediately f filming streams and water and to the arc does all the flooding imagery. I don't know. Stream in a stream. I'm meta, baby! And I don't mean Facebook. Though I do look like the weird Metaverse Zuckerberg, I'll give you that. And just the fact that he's saying nothing and filming from afar. This is definitely the to the art guy, who I think is ready. Did he throw the camera or some shit? What happened? Oh, is he gonna leave it by the car? Oh, he's... He, okay. Places the camera down. Doesn't get in, though. Yeah, door slams. Yep. It is. It is who I fucking thought it was! Brain! Brain! Oh, and he distorts cameras as well. He caused the distortion. Oh, sorry. Very flashy. Um, isn't that interesting?
He causes distortion as well. He causes distortion. Hmm. Hoodie makes small distortion. Yeah, he does. Which means he's infected with operator sickness. Like Tim. But not like Alex. That's why I'm more confused. Because Alex starts acting weird and shit like everyone else does. But he doesn't cause any distortion. So that I guess maybe he's le he's not as far along in the whole thing. I also still get the impression that To the Ark is involved in Marble Hornets to some degree. Um... Because they don't like Tim. Or, or it seems they got some spike towards Tim and they definitely don't fucking like Alex. It's as if they blame Alex for getting them involved, is what I uh, I get the impression. I wonder if it's someone like Seth. Silent camera guy. Like that. Makes sense. Also would have all of Alex's footage because he was Alex's camera guy. Also would blame Alex for dragging him along. I think it's Seth. Didn't Seth die? Seth went missing. That's all we know. Got involved with a... No, don't spoil me, but I'm just... I'm getting weird vibes about Seth now. Seth hasn't been mentioned... He's not noted himself down as a victim, despite the fact that he very clearly died. This never once had a stigmata near there, Seth. We don't know what he looks like. He would have all of Alex's footage. Maybe not the one when he was a kid, though. But why would... Alex is working against to the arc, then? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Good line of thinking. We won't tell you. Ah. Uh, Interesting. Anyway, let's see what indicator is. Sorry for the flashing lights again. Blind. That's what it says. Messages everywhere. Jesus Christ. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, I love a little bit of binary, do I? Right, let's see what the binary is. Give me two seconds. A binary, binary translator. Let me just quickly do this. It is 0001010010101010. Oh, oh, Hmm, okay. That made nothing. It made two characters that I don't know and the number six. What the hell was that? Goofy R baby. Goofy air baby. Goofy air. <laughs> Crawling around. Goofy R baby. Let's watch the Goofy R baby again. See if we can... <laughs> to be fair, that little waddly run is quite funny. That is quite amusing. Let's see. Um, theory time once again. All right, you piss me off because you spoil things sometimes. Um, but let's let's give it a let's give it a little read. Theory time once again. Indicator something. Oh, something that gives you information on the state of things. Indicator light on the car. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Message everywhere. Signs everywhere. You will never be free. Sort of a leap, but since no one talked about the audio at thirteen, it sounds to me like William the William Tell overture. You know it, even if you don't realize it, because it's sort of a generic race music. Th this might be my imagination, but something about the way the baby doll goes zoom makes you think it's possible. Take each line of binary and reverse it, except the fifth line, for some reason, you get he line. He lies. Prescription blind. What? That's only... How do you get he lies? How did you get that? What? That's that's oh that's three bytes. How did you get a whole sentence out of three bytes? Whatever, I believe you. This is what the TTA is talking about. Such two Alex saying 
it's the operator that makes you blind. He lies and manipulates you. That seems to be what's happening to Alex. Is he under the operator's control? If you... Okay. You know what? Another common manifold or W. I got into the nursing program. I had that exam. Yo! Sick! Let's oh, go. I'm so happy for you. Congrats. But yeah, so I'm going to stop reading that guy's comments because I, I think he's leaning into spoiler territory. But um, I, I thought about this a little bit. Assuming that they are alternate personalities when they're wearing the mask. One, that implies that Alex could still be to the arc, like I was saying. They have all of his footage. They hate Alex for whatever reason. They want him dead. If I was an alternate personality who wants to take control of a body, I would definitely, um, you know, want the alternate persona dead in, in some sense or another. Um, hmm. Okay, let's think what else. Jay, so there's the bit where Jay was in the house, clearly under the operator's control because he kept getting warped around. And there's a bit where he comes out of a closet and there's a mask hung up on the door. It appears that several people wear the mask, to some degree, because there's a video of Alex wearing it. We know Tim wore it. Maybe this is a warning about operator sickness. Saying the operator lies. Whatever the operator uses to convince people to do things. I don't know. He comes out the closet, he's gay. He actually is canon gay. Unironically, yes. So I guess maybe it was also just symbology to make him canon gay. I don't really know. Either way, he's gay. Ah, just intrigued. I know I'm... Yeah, I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued. Something. Entry 42. Going through the videos on the external hard drive that I found in the hotel. After looking at the video files dates, I found that they began at the same time as the events in Entry 41, which... Interesting. Okay. Jay the Alien, been thank you for the tier one. streams for over a year now, and I'm finally able to sub. Yo, that's Pretty sick. Neat. Thank you, man. Thank you for three months. So Alex was filming on his way here. So it implies that Alex is still filming himself. Alex, um, I'm in the woods right now near where I park, so if you're, uh, if you're here, you're wondering where I am, I'm in here. Oh, he's pissed. Damn, the gamer rage. He's got gamer rage in his fucking soul. Oh, is this the body cam? Oh, this implies that this is the body cam that Jay wears. trying to figure out exact timelines for this because I just want to see by the point that Hoodie goes over there is Alex's car there because I don't think it is oh ah, maybe 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 Someone at the tree. Do you buy the tree? What? There is a dude sitting there actually. That is hoodie. That's a yellow hoodie. Yeah. Odd. Odd. Peculiar. Weird. Spice Mars, thank you the pound. 
Why are you as a man marble hornets? Whose hornets are you marbling, huh? Men's? Thank you. Face cam in the way. Oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, let me skip it back again. Two seconds. Uh, face cam. Uh, let me shift it there. There's a little little dude. Little dude sat right there, just like before. It looks like he waves at hoodie. Yeah, he kind of does actually. I think he just does that. I don't necessarily think he waves. There's a springy little yellow guy. I quite like him. Jay, I'm outside the woods. I don't know why you decided to go in there, but get out here. Now. Hmm. Jay! What the hell are you doing out here? What? Jesus Christ. Okay, that doesn't imply it. This is the first time I don't fuck with the acting in this series. I've really liked it so far, but that, that was kind of trash. Jessica's is really good. Jessica's is probably the best actor so far. I was like, we gotta get out of here! Run! Jesus Christ. Uh, listen, it was like 2010. People weren't worse actors back in- WHAT?! Listen, it was 2010. What do you mean? People have been acting since the fucking 30. Like, like what? No, before the what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Right. You've pissed me off with that. That's really that. That comment's like pissed me off. What do you mean it was 2010? Forgive the acting, as if people couldn't act back in 2010. Jessica's actress is an actress. Yeah, she was very good. Like people, have, we've been acting for fucking years. What? What? Oh, they weren't professionals though. I know that, but still. Fucking hell. People have been acting a bit longer than the 30s. Yeah, no, I know, but look, films, films started cropping up in the 30s, like acting in front of a camera. I, I realized acting as a format has existed lo way longer. What was that all about? What are you running from? <laughs> that thing. That thing is in there. A couple of miles in, but yeah. What were you doing a couple of miles in the woods? I don't know, I was tired of waiting on you because you didn't tell me what time you were going to be here. I like his shoes. You know, I thought I'd take a look around while I was waiting. And I got kind of lost, I guess. You got lost in woods you've never been in. Yeah. The only good actors are on TikTok. True, only good actors, the only people who are good at acting are the TikTok acting challenge people on TikTok. Yes. Do you at least TikTok have the alone? camera? No. Is the camera a couple of miles in the woods? Yes. It is, because I dropped it. Let's go. Come on, let's go. I think Alex is a better actor than, uh, than Jay. You saw what was on the video I sent you. You have no clue where Amy is. No. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Help me, Jay! All right, look, we have a better chance of finding her together. Oh, so he's looking for his girlfriend. That's yeah, his goal. I'll, I'll help you, but today, I'm done. Why? 
Fine. Fine. Alex, I said I'd help you. I just, I can't today. Not after that. I'm just going to go to a hotel and stay there because I don't want to sleep in my car tonight. There's a car down there. Fine. Just follow me. I know a couple that are close by. I don't want any close to here. Just come on. Wait, Rosswood. I've just realized they're meeting at Rosswood. Where's the fucking hotel? From, like, with Jessica. Fucking hell. I'm... There we go. The noise is out there coming from your room. I just woke up. Really? Yeah, why is it's fake? House, it's it's my house. What are you doing? Only bring groceries in it. Oh. So like I okay. No. I'm not thinking about that episode, I'm thinking about a different one. I think it's twenty eight maybe? Fucking hell, come on. This one I think. Now that's the one where he meets her. Twenty-nine? Might be twenty-nine. No, that's where you saw the operator. This is the one where you saw the bloody rock. It was still wet as well. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a date. Okay, yeah, we don't know what that was. Okay, wait, so is it in 30 or like 31? Is it in 31? Yes, it was like one. This is it. No, okay. Interesting. Rosswood. Here we go. This is what I was trying to fucking explain. So he, he says he doesn't want a hotel near Rosswood, but then here we are, and he's like, I know a hotel, and it's Rosswood. They're at Rosswood here. And Rosswood is where he goes searching around and finds this weird guy in the hoodie. But he doesn't really find anything. So Rosswood is significant. Oh, wait. What? It's in my car. What's on it? I don't know, I guess the battery's dead. We'll check it when we get to the hotel. Because the battery's dead. He <laughs> just said that quite funny. Let's go. So Rosswood is... So so the hotel he's in when he wakes up and has amnesia is potentially the hotel they go to now? Okay. Interesting. Okay, now on to memories from To The Ark. Uh, okay, that's... Interesting. I think I know what's gonna happen. This is age restricted. That's interesting. So much more than time. The audio had something in it. Uh, <laughs> you don't need a definition, that's funny. Uh, description is base 64, 54321. Uh, Events shown looks like the one Alex's front, port, front portion, entry one. Years where he says, you did nothing, you've done nothing, so much more has been taken. Oh, yeah, because entry one was fucking years ago. Like, at this point, entry one, we don't know exactly... Fuck's sake, man! Oh my, I'm about to freak the fuck out! Bro! Fuck you! Thank, Thank you, you for everything, for Jack. Thanks You're to welcome. you, I finally got the confidence to start streaming and oh, got into a better mental space. I can't thank you enough for being oh, thank here. Thank you so much! I now feel bad for saying fuck you. You did scare me a little bit, though. 
Entry one. Entry one was in June 2009, and the footage is from even earlier. God, I forget how low budget it was when it started. This is the first time the operator ever shows up. It's like obviously just a man in a morph suit. He's not even tall. This is the video that did it all. 7 million views. Fucking crazy to me. I love it. I love it so much. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I see what they mean though, it is a similar bench. Anyway. Yeah, it's been years since entry one, so does that imply that like years and you've done fucking nothing despite the fact that you've known about this for like at least since like 2008, I would assume? Um. Okay, no, no spoilers in this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 15 low key faces there. Who is directed at Jay? TTA is telling Jay that uncovering the truth and resolving the situation is taking too long. long. All of his inaction has caused him to lose so much more than time, aka his sanity and TTA's patience, lol. Right before this video was uploaded, Jay tweeted, Can't believe this whole thing started two years ago. I never should have taken those original tapes from Alex. Oh yes, yeah, so there was a Twitter there, there was a Twitter for all the character uh, for, for Jay. I forgot about this. There was a Twitter that ran alongside the series. Uh, I don't think it is around anymore, or at least it's really hard to find the tweets. Oh, you guys can't see this. Sorry, I'm completely on the wrong side. Let me move myself when I read this. Right before the video was uploaded, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then in this video, we see the front porch that was probably featured in the first few entries. The skull figure at 15 represents Jay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. In the same way Tim wore a mask to become masky and redacted wore a hood to be called hoodie, Jay also has an alternate persona. Scully. Unfortunately, the right... Oh, the right so. Stop spoiling things! I, all right, I'm, we're fucking done with that guy. I keep saying it, but he's like a drug. He, I'm just addicted to his little theories. But now, no, 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 now we're not doing it anymore. Because, yeah, people are saying that Scully is Jay and that he does have an alternate persona. Even though apparently they retconned that. But, like, there definitely is evidence to imply that Jay has also been running around and he has operator sickness and he's doing shit. Anyway. Fuck it, I'm moving on, I'm moving on. Actually, no, I'm not. Fuck it, now, now I've read it, I might as well read it. Jay's been losing huge chunks of time, seven whole months of crying out loud, and then he around in places with no memory of how or why. During that time, he becomes Scully and doesn't do, uh, does who knows what. Oh, that does make sense, because he does lose his memory at times during, like, the house segment, where it implies that he's going out and doing operator sickness shit. He's betraying us, though. It's from the comics, not the show. Yeah. I don't know. It's removed. Yeah, apparently it was retconned, but it's definitely an interesting theory. And it does make sense to some degree. We'll see, though. We'll see as it goes on. If they retconned it, then there's no point fucking around with the theory that Jay's doing anything. But it definitely feels like the writing's leading that way right now. But it's not canon. Apparently it's not canon. Apparently. So what I'm understanding is the writers were definitely implying that Jay's doing some shit. And they went, actually, we don't really like that. Changed it. But there's, there's evidence that, obviously, was supposed to build to something, but built to nothing, by the sounds of things. That's what I'm gathering now. Are we almost halfway through? We're almost halfway through. We're almost halfway through. Entry 44 and we're halfway through the series. Right? Yeah. Shit. We're almost halfway through. Season 2 was kind of messy. It definitely seems... It, it, it seems the messiest. Season one started, even though there was like ARG shit, it felt relatively easy to follow. Season two feels like it's really leaning into the ARG stuff and I'm a bit confused. Early season two was really good, but I'm getting a little bit more confused now. But we'll see. We'll see. Season three is a lot more polished. I've heard that. Anyway, 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 sorry. My brain switched off. Either way... It's just to the arc saying you're taking too fucking long, Jay. Which we already kind of know because they uploaded to the Marble Hornets channel and said like, we're, we're getting tired. We're taking control away from you. Entry 43. This is a long one. Seven minutes. Fucking hell. So this is the hotel. Or a hotel. Hello? 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 I wanted to- <laughs> I'm doing the fucking FNAF bit, I'm sorry. Hey. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be out there. 
Marble Hornets was supposed to end at season one. Yeah, you, def you definitely get that vibe, but it was doing so well and they got some budget, so fuck it. Morty, no, it was Phone Guy from FNAF. Never. Morty would be like, Oh, jeez. Hello, Rick. Ah. I just did a squeak. Never mind. We're not doing that again. Sorry, what was that? I missed the start of this. Can't believe that the true antagonist of Marble Hornets is Morty Phonets at Freddy's Imposter Among Us. Sus! That's all I got to say for that. What I want to know is why were they still recording on tape in 2009? That hadn't really been done in quite a while. Man said it more like Kermit. I couldn't remember like, Hi ho, it's Kermit the Frog. Yeah, I'll be outside to kill the sh the slender man. I can't do impressions sometimes when I'm doing vo words I don't do. Hi ho, it's Kirby the Frog. Because tapes are cool. Yeah, they're kind of. It just adds to the analog horror vibe, I guess, because it's an analog format. Jay and Alex in the car. Okay. Sorry, I don't know. I was thinking about Kermit and Tate. Kermit sounded more like Peter Griffin. No, he'd be like, eh, freaking hell, Lois. This is a pretty scary analog. <laughs> freaking hell, Lois. I hope the Slender Man. <laughs> Can't do it. Eh, I'm freaking awesome. That'd be my Peter Griffin. Live Alex reaction. Freaking hell, Lois. <laughs> <My goodness. laughs> life of me. Get that out of me. <laughs> For the life of me. I found that too funny in my own fucking head. <laughs> oh god. Peter, the operator's here. We gotta run, Peter. Hey, Peter, I... I hear... <laughs> I hear your tapes are becoming corrupted. Have you heard of the operator, Peter? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I I I can't. I can't. Peter, the pages. We've gotta collect the eight pages to defeat the the Slender Man. <laughs> oh God. Hey Peter. Nice cock. Right. I'm done now. Further to the house. Yeah. Is this the house? No, it's that not. window up there is the one we jumped out of. Oh, this is the house that uh, uh, Alex was in from that tape. Where'd you go after that? I don't know. The next thing I remember, I was waking up in my apartment with the camera. Oh yeah, that does happen. People will lose their memories when they're around the operator a lot because that happened with Jay a lot in season one when he encountered him. Is everyone home? Can you tell? I don't think so. I don't see a roommate's car. Whose car is that up there? 
it's a divided house, so these cars belong to her neighbors. They live in the right side there. Okay, and Amy lives on the left. Yep. Okay. Well, I mean, Zach Sa- uh, Oh, that's hard. Zach Sa- the door. Thank you for the prime. Zach Can't Zach hurt. Zach. We're here. You can just. Okay, it's, it's go knock on the door. So cover it. Can't hurt. We're here. Someone just said in chat, I remember a case back in 2016, I believe, some real messed up fangirls tried to kill one of their friends because they wanted to work for the Slender Man. Talk about a damn messed up and romanticized fandom in the present. That is true. Yeah, yeah that actually happened. That was like a real thing. The, the, the worst part is, I swear, because they, they then released the movie Slender, which by the fucking way, years too late. Like Slender Man Fever was like around when this was being released, like 2010, or like the fucking Slender Man game was big. And like Slender the Arrival, maybe at the point that Slender the Arrival came out, maybe like 2013 time, you should have made a Slender Man movie. But like, fucking, they make the Slender Man movie in like 2019. Like a decade after it was popular, the movie sucked dick, right? It was, fu- and, and then I, I think it like kind of harked back to that genuine real event where a girl was not stabbed to death, thank fuck. I think she, I think, oh wait, maybe she didn't, you know. I, did she survive? Uh, Slender Man Stabbing. Did she die? Uh, Uh, I think she lives. I think she lives. I don't think she dies. She survived. Yeah, she did. She barely lived, but she did live. She managed to crawl to a fucking road after being stabbed 19 times. It's fucking horrible. But yeah, all in the name of the Slender Man. And like, fucking hell. Fucking madness. Fucking madness of a story. Like, like trying to appease the fucking Slender Man. She must have been pissed. Yeah, you would imagine. She got stabbed 19 fucking times. She was like 12 as well. It, was like, it wasn't even 16-year-old. They were 12-year-old girls. But they're both, they're both, uh, they were both institutionalized. They were both um, institutionalized. They didn't go to jail because they were that fucking young and both diagnosed with mental illness or, or considered, you know, to be mentally ill. But yeah, fucking crazy. I remember hearing about it when it happened and it was just like, the fuck, man? Fucking crazy 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 story couldn't believe it at the time because like don't the creepy past has been around on the internet for ages and and you know like people would believe them to a degree i remember fucking like being scared of jeff the killer when i was in school right and like i i i i think personally there's a charm to i'm a how i'm a horror fan and like I, I never was as a kid i was fucking terrified it's only within the, like the past few years i got really into horror um, and like, I really do like a good horror story and one that you can kind of believe that sense of unnerving is good. And that sort of like round the campfire, trying to scare your friends, like telling that classic horror thing is cool, but the fucking impact it has on people who are a bit delusional make like makes me fucking reconsider whether we should do that. But like at the same time, I, I don't, it, you know, horror stories, ghost stories and shit, like a, a fucking oldest time. We shouldn't get rid of them. They're fucking cool. Like, scary stories are interesting, you know? But, like, man, some people, like, when you see people take it to that extent, it's fucking, like, it makes you reconsider. Young kids, horror can really fuck with people with psychosis if not worn correctly. Yeah, shit like that. Like, you know, it's just, yeah. That was really just untreated mental illness. No, it is. No, absolutely it is. Someone who was like sound of mind wouldn't go about doing that. You would know it was a fake story, obviously. But like, man, people need to fucking... It's, it's, it's parenting to a degree because like, you, like, you need to fucking look out for signs that your child isn't good. Because like no way do you have a perfectly good as gold child who just one day goes, the Slender Man wants me to stab people. Like surely there were signs prior to that. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, they, like they're definitely ill it's not the fault of horror but i think it's the fault of the the way we consume it potentially like i, I it's it's not i'm not 
there's a problem, but I'm not saying kill the genre. It's like it's like when like people used to play in violent video games. It's like yeah, some people have played vi- violent video games and like done violent things. They're they're fucking in mental. Like you know what I mean. Like they're not sane people. Like you shouldn't have to rob everyone of a form of media because certain people shouldn't be allowed access to it. I, I, but I, it's it's what do you do? You know what I mean? It's very. Uh, I'm having this real serious conversation in cat ear headphones, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move on and carry on watching the series. But yeah, someone mentioned that, and I just think it's fucking. Um, Someone said, like, because of my autism, I used to get so scared because I couldn't tell if something's a joke. I realize now, but I used to get so scared. And I'm the same. Like, I, I, you know, I, I, I used to genuinely believe some of these things. Uh, you know, I, whatever, you know. I'm not saying I'm the same. I'm not saying I'm autistic. I'm not diagnosed with autism. Uh, um, it's also not me saying I'm not. Sometimes little things happen. I'm like, it's looking more likely, but it's looking more likely. But um, I, I don't, I don't know that I'm autistic. I don't believe I am. But sometimes. Uh, you ever see those TikToks where it's like, either I have, either, either people with autism need to be, st- <laughs> it's, what is it, either people with autism, autism need to stop being so damn relatable or I need to go to get a diagnosis, you know what I mean? That's sometimes the position I find myself in, but overall I think I'm, I'm pretty sound. I don't think overall I'm autistic, I just have moments. I definitely need to get that ADHD diagnosis though. That one isn't even like a, they feel relatable. It's like, oh, they me for real. Anyway, let's see what goes off here. Knocks at the door. Okay, nothing. He's pretty sad about it too. His girl didn't fucking answer the door to him. Rejection. That's what rejection feels like. Who are you calling? Wrong man. I think Alex is genuinely a good actor. Hey Jessica, it's Alex. Uh, I was just calling to see you. What? What? Jess- Oh my god, the plot fucking thickens, bro. Oh my god, Jessica's involved. Jessica's the fucking- So that means that Jessica's been around the roommate. She also has memory loss, meaning she probably has operator sick- Fucking hell, okay. That was- that's a good little reveal. That's- that- that's sick. That's cool writing. God, the writing's so sick sometimes. I know season two isn't perfect in terms of, like, the ARG shit, but the general, like, the way they reveal information is so sick at times. I fucking love the way they do it. Recently. Uh, just give me a call back whenever you get a chance. Thanks. Something fucking dubious going on with him. Something weird about Alex, man. He has like an ulterior motive. It's not just about finding his girlfriend, I'm convinced. Like there is something more. Spice Moss, thank you for the pound. Streamer joins the Tism Troop when slash like uh, Sorry, I fucking can't read. Uh, for real though, there's a lot of resources if you want to see for sure, recommend. I, 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 honestly, realistically, I think I'm good. I, 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 think, um, I think about this a lot. Uh, I think a lot of the traits that I, 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 I've definitely like, grown out of. Um, when I was a kid, though, fucking hell. I was a fucking interesting child. But, like, I, I think as an adult, I've mostly, like, grown out of it. Um, and when I say grown out of it, I don't think anyone ever grows out of these things. But I think through social experience, you kind of learn to process it through... Uh, uh, this. I'm not necessarily, necessarily, necessarily saying I'm neurodivergent. I have no evidence... I have no formal evidence of this. Just, just, just suspicions from knowing myself and knowing others. But um, I don't think you can grow out of it. But I think what you can do, and I, I've heard this discussed before, uh, watching a video about this um, one savant guy, because he was the first ever. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm going on a, I'm going on a fucking 
detour, but whatever. We can speak about this briefly before carrying on. We, we got to a point where we cut. So I heard about this thing. Uh, if you don't know what a savant is or savant syndrome, it's essentially where someone is inhumanly intelligent. So like Rain Man, for example, the, the real life Rain Man, uh, who uh, he could literally, you could ask him any day within the last few hundred years, and he could tell you what happened on that day, why it was significant, anything like that. He knew the zip code of every single address in America. He just knew them, every single one. But he was completely, he was uh, almost nonverbal beyond those basic conversations. Like he, he, he couldn't really speak very well, he couldn't communicate very well. He's entirely dependent on his father, couldn't look after himself. All this stuff, right? Like, but he was insanely intelligent and had abilities beyond human comprehension in, in a different sense. And that's what a savant is. And there's several of these documented throughout, throughout history. But there's this one guy who was a mathematical savant. He could literally multiply five, six digit numbers in his head in seconds and get the answer genuinely correct. He was almost as fast as a calculator. However, the special thing about this guy is he didn't have... Most of the time with savants, they're, they're almost non-functioning. They have a very high level, generally, of autism or something along those lines. This guy was, as far as you could tell, pretty much neurotypical. And you could communicate with him and ask him how he was able to do that, right? And he claimed that numbers to him, all the numbers from 1 to, I believe, 10,000, might have been 1,000, um, they were unique shapes that had textures, colors, obviously shapes and geometries and stuff like that and every single number he in his brain was just that and he could describe all of them and then like synesthesia kind of yeah and when and depending on what mathematical operation you were asking him to do he would do something with those shapes and the shape of the answer would just naturally form in his mind so you ask him three times five the shape of 15 would just you would merge those shapes and it would make this new shape right this is really interesting, though, because it implies that there's an intrinsic property to numbers that we don't understand, because this isn't just his brain just associating random shapes. These shapes actually hold some meaning because you can apply mathematical operations to them, right? So genuinely, his brain has done something that we don't understand. We don't... It's like a new way of doing maths that we genuinely haven't understood yet, right? Right? So we, there was a lot of research done because they were genuinely trying to work out how the fuck this guy's brain works. Because, like, they couldn't draw them, no, because they were, like, three-dimensional. They had textures and, and things. It, but it was something really, really interesting, right? Where was I going with this? Um, oh, but they, they, so they, but every, every savant we've ever, ever known of in history has been neurodivergent in some way, usually ASD autistic. So they did it. They did an autism test on this guy because they were like, he's a savant and he doesn't appear to be autistic, which is like unfucking precedented. And they did a test, and he came back non-autistic. And but the, the doctor basically said, from what I gather, from what I've gathered about you during this test, I get the impression that you possibly are autistic, but you're an intelligent man who's kind of just studied social situations and kind of you don't necessarily intrinsically have the same like. You don't process social situations the same way most neurotypical people do, but your actions essentially are the same anyway. You're just kind of masking it, like, very, very impressively. Um, and I think that's what I mean why I say, like, grown out of it. Like, the traits that I had when I was a kid, I don't think I've grown out of. I've just learned not to act that way because it's, like, you know... Masking, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. When I say grown out of it, I mean masking. Thank you. It took that was a long conversation just to get the point of masking, but I I don't know the term, so there you are. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just very um, very interesting. It was very very interesting. This guy, it's a really very creepy documentary, by the way, for like no fucking reason. Uh, I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna carry on. We're not gonna watch it because I want to watch Marvel Hornets, but I'll, I'll quickly show you. A uh, guy that can... A uh, human calculator, is it? Uh, where's the guy? Oh, so, okay, there's a woman who's... There's a popular YouTuber who's the human calculator. Okay, that's not helpful because that's not the guy. She's not the guy. Um, uh, savant documentary. Maybe it's this. Brain Man? The boy with the incredible brain. I think it's this guy. Yes, it is. Brain Man, the documentary is called, on real stories. But, like, the visuals of the documentary are so... They look horror-esque. Like, let me find, like... 
was preposterous. But if it's true, it blows away scientific theory. You put some creepy music over that, right? Put some creepy fucking music. Why is it so sketchy and weird? Daniel's brain seems to be doing something almost magical. It appears to be doing maths without him. Why is it creepy? Like, why is it eerie? They didn't need to make it eerie. It's an interesting documentary. I have no idea whoever fucking edited that or like d d the director, whoever. No clue why they chose to go in that visual direction. So fucking strange. So weird. Why is it Walter White? It's not Walter White. He's doing meths. Anyway, please, come on now. We, we want to watch Marble Hornets. So anyway, he knocked at the door. He called, we, we, we just had the Jessica reveal, right? We've, that's what we've had. We've had the Jessica reveal. Um, anyway, let's, let's carry on watching. Sorry, I got, I got distracted for a bit, but just an interesting interesting discussion topic. I really, really, Hi, really Jack. like that. How are you? Three months Marble Hornets pog. Also autism check. <laughs> This is the this is the time where we realise half the Jack Manfold audience appears to be autistic from what I've read from chat. Right. Oh yeah. This one's on. Move back over here. So this is right after Jessica's. Okay, so wait, why is it flipped camera perspectives? So entry 43 is all Jay's camera with Alex. And then he's gonna drop him off at the hotel, but he doesn't want him to know where he lives. And then it goes to Jay, uh, Alex's body cam. assume this is the body cam that Jay ends up with because he has the hard drive but right now Alex is wearing it which is weird very weird fucking love water man that's like a big dick. Sorry, my bad. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, so he's, he goes to, like, what I assume is his house, walks down this path, Goes to these bushes. Films around these bushes. Nothing of significance. I guess just, I, I guess, I assume we're going to revisit this lo uh, location later and it's just giving us landmarks for now so we recognise it when it shows up later in the series. And we have that and he goes into the hedge. It does seem a bit like a portal. It definitely doesn't feel like it leads into an area that realistically could be there, but... Is he in Rosswood? Like, where is he? Good fucking timing, man! I'm so, so late. Anyway, Jack, this is my favourite horror series, so I really hope you're enjoying it so far. <laughs> Thank you for the 10, man. I am. I really love this. What is you doing?! Alex's involvement with the operator is so... Alex and the operator aren't... 
The operator isn't stalking Alex to harm him anymore. Whether he ever was is, I suppose, interesting as well, but... They're not ops. They're not ops. That's for certain. Right, let's see what this is. Look at you. Who's this talking to? No one recognizes the words. You are who you are. That's some fucking Walton Files, like, man down. This is where the Walton Files got the distorted faces and loud noises thing. Distorted face with what, distorted creepy face with loud noise on computer screen is absolutely the thing that creeps me out the most in the fucking world. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. Like, that sucks. Was this the first ever Goofy R face with sound effect? I hate that I, I that trope scares me. I hate that that trope is actually something I fall victim to. Lemon Maiden Swamp. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the prime. I assume this is a message to, um, what does that say? Uh, pictures. It's upside down. Pictures. What? What does that last word say? Alright, where's comment man? Come on, comment man, where are you? Comment man isn't there. Alright, I think I can piece this one together. I think this is talking to Alex. It's saying, look at you, right? You're a person. And you exist in your brain. But. You're you. But the operator sickness is there. But who are you? And then it's the opera. And then the operator zero shows up. Essentially implying that yes. There's like this alternate personality thing. Something we've already. There's no comment man today. That, that says. Pic, I don't know what that says. The pictures. Look at me going fucking upside down. Just trying to read this shit. Look at me. S -s I can't read that last word. Ah oh, no, this is just... But yeah, I can't believe I fell to the first instance of distorted face. Distort, I think, you know what it is? I've always, ever since I was a kid, and I, I genuinely think this is where analog horror stems from. Technology is scary. I think the primitive part of our brains really scared of it. Because we kind of primitively are, like, we understand people and animals and stuff like that. But all of a sudden, there's this machine that makes noise and moves and talks like things we're used to. But it's, I think, like, computers and just, just technology falls into the uncanny valley just a, just a bit. Like, just a bit. Like, like not like, like, but, and then all of a sudden, you, un you put an uncanny valley face. I think it, like... I think there's a little part of our brain that expects it to... It's it's in that uncanny valley where it's like... Because the uncanny valley essentially comes from like recognizing when something's a bit off. Because like generally predators try and sometimes mimic prey. Or like, you know, mimic... Like they try and blend in and then they attack you, right? You know, that's generally how they work. They blend in. So our brains are like wired to detect when something's a bit off. And I think computers like feel like it's something that's mimicking our behavior that isn't quite us. And I think that fucking freaks us out. And then when the computer starts, like, it, it, when, when, like, a creepy face appears on it, and it starts, like, saying creepy things or making scary noises, it affirms that part of our brain that's already a little bit scared of it. It's like, ah, I knew this was bad! Like, when, like, when I was a kid, I used to be so scared 
I used to have like anxiety dreams of like not being able to turn off the computer or not being able to like turn off the Wii and it like like insisting that there was a problem and it like almost being sentient like I was like turn off and it's like no and it's like insisting and like it repeats itself like I was dreaming of what analog horror is doing before I'd ever seen analog horror like as a kid and I think that's why it gets me so bad because I used to like Wii stress dreams holy shit is that a thing? Wait, the Wii? No, wait, no, don't tell me Wii stress dreams are a fucking thing. Wii stress dreams. Anxiety dream. Effects of playing games- oh, this is an- this is an article. Balance- balancing in dreams. Effects of playing games on the Wii balance board on dream content. Is this a fucking, like, thesis? Okay, so let's read the summary of this. Based on the continuity, uh, continue hypothesis of dreams, elements of waking life should be- Actually, tell you what. Guys! Half an hour ago was the top of the hour and I almost forgot. So, if you want to hear about this Wii Balance Board stuff, be sure to subscribe, because I'm going to run an ad while I read it. So, this is subscriber-only content. Guys, it's only 4 99 or if you click subscribe right now and see that you have the Prime option, it's completely free for you. So, guys... Be sure to uh, subscribe right now because I'm going to run the ad in a few seconds and then I'm going to read it. But of course, if you are an, a an ad viewer, it's fine. I'm going to carry on watching Marble Hornets after this. So um, don't worry, you will just miss out on Wii Balance Board content. Uh, I just want I'm conscious that I'm not going to do this if I don't do it now. So um, I'm going to run the ad um, now. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If you can't afford it, it's fine. The ads are running, don't worry. Anyway, let's read this for the subs. Summary, based on the continuing hypothesis of dreams, elements of waking life should be incorporated into nocturnal dreams. The purpose of the current research is to build upon previous studies and investigate the effects of a gross motor balancing task on dream content. 13 university students played balancing games on the Wii Balance Board before uh, for two hours. They were then monitored in the laboratory during their sleep using polysomnography. Polis Dream reports were collected Jack, from Jack, I dislike horror stuff, but watching you analyze and talk about it oh, makes I'm me glad. feel better. Thank you Have for a great months. stream, Appreciate King. It. Also, Dead Patch Kid. Thank you for the tier one as well. Anyway. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, dream reports were collected from the participants' second REM phase onwards. Total of 36 dreams were collected. Of those, seven dreams, 20%, subjectively reported to contain elements of balance. But only two of them were confirmed by external judges. In contrast, 17 dreams contained laboratory reference. Additionally, as an... Uh, as exploratory analysis, task performance before sleep and test performance after sleep were compared. Seven participants who reported dreams containing elements of balancing did not perform better than other participants. Thus, the results obtained imply that the motor task had some influence on participants' dreams, and in total, consolidation effects were limited. This is not all what I'm, what I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, it's a wee stress dreams and just anxiety dreams showed up. Anxiety dreams are unpleasant dreams can be more disturbing than nightmares. Anxiety dreams are characterized by feelings of unease, distress, and apprehension in the dream upon waking. Yeah, I've had this. Uh, but yeah, it's weird that everyone references the Wii because I remember the Wii stress dreams as well. I'm going to put out a tweet right now. I'm going to put out a tweet right now. Actually, welcome back, ad viewers, by the way. Uh, I'm I'm curious about this Wii thing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like do a poll. Have you ever had an anxiety dream around surrounding uh, about the Nintendo Wii? Sorry, I just wanted to scare you with this creepy face. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> I just wanted to scare you all with a creepy face. Did it work? Did I scare you? <laughs> oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that one quite a lot. Right. Anyway. I think this is talking to Alex about being part of the operator. We're on to the, uh, this is the halfway point of Marble Hornets. Once we've watched this, we've watched half of everything. Pretty much. What, uh, there's a couple of hidden episodes, but uh, as far as I'm aware, like, half of everything as far as I'm aware. So, people. Let's get into this one. Now I've scared you all sufficiently. So what's this? 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, actually, I have no idea. This just says entry 44, it doesn't even say who it is. We don't even know whether this is Alex or Jay. I'm guessing Alex, because it's the body cam, and Jay hasn't been given the body cam yet. So my guess is Alex. But he, th this is right after he's had his run with the operator, and assuming it's chronological. We'll check back up on the Wii poll before we end the stream. I'm very intrigued by that. Hey, Jessica. It's oh. Alex. Uh, I just wanted to call and let you know that I got in touch with Amy, so just disregard my last message. Thanks. There was some distortion there. Also, that's weird. Did he actually get in touch with Amy, or is he just lying? Because I get the impression he's probably lying. So is he lying to Jay about wanting to find Amy? Is he fully aware of where Amy is? He, uh, even if he ha even if he's spoken to her or he hasn't and he's lying, but either way, he isn't actually looking for Amy in that case. In either way, because either he's already found her or he's lying to Jessica, meaning that Either way, so he has to be lying in in, in, in any instance because I well, we don't know if he goes if he now goes to Jay and goes oh yeah I find I found um, Amy it's all fine fine but I get the impression he's still going to convince Jay to come with him because he's finding Amy so that then implies to me that he has either he he's lying he's lying either way also there's some low level distortion. Oh, the early GoPro. That's like a GoPro, like... That's an early, early GoPro. <coughs> oh, this brother's sick. That operator sickness is kicking in, bro. Oh, he's spitting blood. That Charlie Slime School. How does he look like so many fucking people we know? He looks like fucking Charlie Slime School. Red Velvet. Uh, fucking Red Velvet in that one. Oh, more operator notes. Interesting. I reckon he's causing the distortion at this point. I don't even think it's the fucking operator. I reckon it's Alex. I reckon his sickness has gotten bad to the point where he causes distortion now. He's also the only one to scribble notes like that, as far as I'm aware. Jay's not done that. And none of the other characters, as far as we know. As we know. Actually, that's not necessarily true. Assuming that... Manifold dub. Thank you. Appreciate it, Prime, for, the, for the Prime. Uh, appreciate the fucking... I can't speak at this point. It's getting late. Um, you know what I mean. Um, unless... Just trying to think. I'm not sure. I'm not going to think about it. The shadow. Yeah, there was a shadow. Oh, okay. That maybe implies that he wasn't causing the distortion then, and that there is something else there. So maybe his sickness isn't that bad. Fucking hell, that little noise made me jump. I don't know how any of these people fucking sleep, man. I could not sleep. I've been thinking that since the start, I've not said it. I would not sleep a fucking minute. Distortion's kicking in. Hope fucking Maskey doesn't show up and do that shit he did with Jay again, because that was fucking terrifying. Oh no, it's the operator. Thank you for 300 bits. I just bet it's empty until Camry's... Oh! His bed was empty. Fuck, I didn't even notice.
I find that so interesting. When the operator shows up, people disappear from their locations. Like, he, because he can distort, he can move them, right? He can distort that shit. But what I don't quite understand, I, I assume that's when they, like, lose their memories. The operator takes them and makes them do shit. And that's why no one ever remembers when they get close to the operator unless they manage to run away. Makes sense. That's why no one realizes that they disappear from the location either, because I assume he sets them right back where they left off sometimes. Peter, the operator's here. I look better the footage and find absolutely no evidence that Alex got in touch with Amy. Yeah. Alright. Guys, there's no two of the arc entry for that one. And I think, because that is literally halfway through the series, I'm actually going to end it there. We're going to leave it on entry 44, I think. We're going to leave it on 44. I just want to make sure we didn't miss something last time, because I realised... Yeah, we did watch 33, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. We're halfway through. We've got 70 more to watch. It took us three streams to watch the first 70, so we have uh, a way to go. But I think they get shorter. Oh, no, they get longer. Oh, fuck, they get a lot longer. Never mind. Uh, well, you know, I don't like that I looked at the thumbnails. They've got Tim in them. That's a lot of Tim. All right. We're not scrolling like that again. I don't like those thumbnails. But yeah, take care, everyone. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.